Hey, welcome back. So, last week, yesterday, I couldn't beat that boss. The, uh, what did he give me again? The speed ball thing. So, I beat him off screen. It was really hard. It took me like 10 tries. <laughs> so I just stopped. I only recorded four episodes last week. And, um... I beat him, so. I don't know where to go. Well, I, I played a little bit off screen and I got some energy tanks. So, I think I got two. Just so that it's, it, it'll make things easier. So maybe that won't happen again. <laughs> and I'll do that later too. I, the problem was, I got to that part with the boss and you couldn't go backwards because you needed the boost ball to go backwards. So you had to beat the boss. It like funnels you into this area and then you have to beat the boss to go back. So you can't get any energy tanks. <laughs> so I was kind of screwed and I had to, took me a long time to beat him. <laughs> I felt it so stupid. Like this is a kid's game, why can't I do this? Anyway, well today's Wednesday. And I got out of work a little bit early because it's snowing. <laughs> that was my stomach. <laughs> You'll hear that one for sure because I turned my makeup. Uh, I didn't eat dinner yet. <laughs> but snowing, that's fun. So hopefully I'll be in a good mood because I, I like snow. I like when it snows because it means you're like not supposed to go outside and I like that feeling oh we're, we have to stay in oh shucks doesn't it suck that like we can't go outside yeah I wish we could but we just gotta stay inside and play video games all day And I think I'll have off work tomorrow too. Because it's, we're gonna get over a foot. The most snow we've gotten in a very long time. But it'll be fun unless I lose power. And that won't be fun. Oh, I think I have to go straight. I'm gonna go down here. But on Wednesday, I do my therapy thing at 5.45. Right now it's 4.15. So I'm gonna record episodes before I do it, and then then right after I do it, I'm gonna record probably. So that might be interesting. I could do a post game recap of what happened. She asked me to do a bunch of stuff this week and I didn't really do it. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. She wanted me to go on LinkedIn and I kind of did, but I didn't do what she asked me to. And I have to be careful because the wave bird, if I don't hold it up, it'll sometimes get disconnected. Um, she wanted me to to look up pen pals online. She was like, hey, look up getting a pen pal. Because I, I talked to her about that practice thing I mentioned last week or whatever. And that was her idea, I guess. Maybe a pen pal? I didn't do that. <laughs> and the third thing was this website called Eventbrite. And I went on the website and I didn't. It's like events and things that you can do. I didn't see anything that I liked. I guess, I guess she wanted me to sign up for something, but I didn't. I remember the other therapist doing that with me too for. There was an app called, what was it called? I have it on my phone. It was just an event app. And I remember sitting in his office and looking at the app and I was just scrolling through. Trying to think, what can I do? Should I play tennis? Should I do Dungeons and Dragons? What, I'm like, I don't want to do any of this stuff. 
don't want to do anything. Oop. Uh-oh, uh this is bad. Ah, what? Just play tennis and you'll be happy. Did they just keep coming? I do have notes. I guess I wanted to to talk about the mere Christianity thing before. Get away from me. Oh, it's a little coronavirus. <laughs> Did I say that already? I think I might have. <laughs> maybe wanted to talk about the mere Christianity book before therapy so then after therapy I would talk about therapy stuff but I have a lot of notes about the book hopefully I don't lose power I think I might because it's gonna be a foot it's not too bad right now though but in two hours or three hours it might be and what am I going to do tomorrow if I don't have power? That's the whole point of staying home is you get to do stuff. Okay. Let's go to the white one. Where's the white one? Is the door shut? Oh no. The door is right there. But it's shut. Um, okay, so let's try to do a note <laughs> for her. once in your life. Okay, just have to read this thing real quick. I did think of some interesting things, I think. I don't know, the things I was thinking about today I thought were a little bit more interesting. I just kind of taking notes. Because he was saying, well, there's seven virtues and four cardinal virtues and three theological virtues. And I wrote down what the virtues were. Um, I don't know. Well, prudence, temperance. I guess I could talk about those. So, actually, I didn't get to the theological virtues, I don't think. So, I don't know what those are. Oh, it's underwater. Ah, that's cool. I can't get up there. Oh, no. What's that? Ah, oh, God. What was the first one? Prudence. This, uh, this book is about morality. It's called Mere Christianity. And it's just... It, 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 the main idea of the book is, like, what is Christian morality, I think? And how do, like why is it important? And why do I... This, it was written by C.S. Lewis, and he was a atheist and now he's a Christian and he's kind of just thinking about this stuff. Oh. What the heck? Oh. That doesn't do anything. Uh. So, I don't know who came up with this idea. There are seven virtues and for being like a good person or something. Another one, another one. Ah. Oop. Come at me. Okay. Uh, prudence is... Something to do with, like, just... It's, it's to be thoughtful, I guess. To be prudent is to just level-headed or um, thoughtful like to think about things and to, and to try not to I guess that's what it means I think I'm okay at that one <laughs> what does it say? I'm supposed to do something with this Oh, that's good. Is it? 
What have I done? Oh, I don't know what that does, but I think it's good. Okay. And the second one is Temperance. That one's interesting. So, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I've ever heard... It's, it seems like when C.S. Lewis was writing this book, this was like a really common word, where if you're intemperate, that means you basically you drink a lot more than you're supposed to. <laughs> Alcohol. So if you're in, intemperate, you, if you have temperance, you you know like it's it's about moderation. And he started saying, well, it's not just about drinking, even though we all know it's about drinking. And I was thinking, I don't know it's about drinking. I never heard that word before. Um, what is purple? But to be temperate is to to do things in moderation. He was saying, well, if you're a girl, then you shouldn't buy too much clothes or you shouldn't care too much about clothes or something. So that's what being intemperate means. And if you're temperate, then you're a good person or something. I know. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what to do. I think I feel like I'm supposed to be in here. Speedball, let's speedball it. <laughs> What's the third one? Christians shouldn't look down their nose at people who do things they don't. You can be intemperate in all things, not just drinking. Do you care about things too much? Even your family. Um, yeah, let's just care. It's, it, it, yeah, I guess it is just caring too much about things, and it makes sense. Like even if you care too much about your family, you can hurt people. You can be the thing that comes to mind is just well, you could be controlling. You can. Well, I care so much about you, so I want to control everything that you do. Oop. Okay. Doesn't seem like it's possible to get up there. What is purple? I don't think I have purple. Uh, purple isn't dark. I know that. Yeah, I don't have purple. Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. So let's go back. I got a missile upgrade today. What's something? Uh, people. Uh, the part of the temperance thing was people don't look down. Christians aren't supposed to look down their nose. Um, I like that. I'm not sure how that's part of it, but he was saying, well, if other people drink and that's not something that you do, don't look down at people who do, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, so I'm going to skip it. Justice is the th Justice is the third one, which is obvious. It's just fairness. And fortitude is the fourth one, and that is like your guts, your resolve, your ability to... to to do what you know is right, even if you it's hard or people don't want you to or something. I don't, I don't have the purple. Where do I go then? I can go over here? No. I remember that area and I didn't know what to do there. Okay. Huh. I don't know, I don't know. Should I go over here? I don't have pink. What the heck is pink? Oh, I need to get the... Should I go to the dark world? There's something. I should go over there. Probably. I don't know. I'm sure there's like a... Super... Ball thing in that area. Okay, I'm gonna go over there. This game might just be me doing everything off screen and then 
I come back and I talk about random stuff. <laughs> Can I start any new note before the end of the day? That wasn't a great day, but it was a good day for the first day. My first days are usually terrible of the week. The guy below me has been playing music almost every day, pretty loud. He actually started doing it last Thursday when I was recording this. Um, but that was right when I stopped, so I didn't. you couldn't hear it. But that's been annoying. He, I can hear his TV late at night. So I've been thinking about that. What, what should I do? Should I do anything? I imagine have, having a conversation with my parents about it and they would say, I know my dad would be like, well, I would go down and tell him, you gotta turn down that music, I don't care. <laughs> um, I think I would say to that, well, if he's listening, the, the only thing that really bothers me is if I can hear it when I'm trying to sleep, because I do kind of need it to be quiet when I'm trying to sleep at 11 o'clock. I bought noise-canceling headphones that are supposed to help with this situation, and they, and they do. Oh, I do remember this area, and I don't know what to do. Do I boost ball somewhere? Then I just go over this way and then it's back to wherever I was to start and that's not I wanna go up to the black thing up there. How do I get up there? Okay, I'll have to figure it out and come back. So, what was I talking about? Nah, the guy below me. It was actually kind of nice when he was playing music really loud last Thursday, because I was thinking, ooh, now I can talk louder, because obviously he doesn't care about being loud, so I can not care about talking loud. But that was right when I got stuck, so I couldn't record any more episodes. Anyway... Yeah, I don't know. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. I think the only the only person who watches into the end, I know he watches to the end because sometimes he'll say, or maybe he just skips to the end to prove that he watched to the end. He'll say, "Oh, this thing that I said at the end of the episode," and I thought, "Oh, he really watched the whole thing." That's interesting. The, actually, I don't know his name. Maybe I should ask. Geek with anxiety. He stopped making videos. Why'd you stop? I was watching your videos and you stopped. Did you make a new one recently? You have a good screen name because when I look, when I put into YouTube Geek with Anxiety, yours is the first that comes up. I don't think my name is the first that comes up. You haven't made a video in three weeks. <laughs> if I search social anxiety gaming. Oh, mine comes up. But maybe that's just because I am me and it puts myself up on the top. But none of my videos come up. Oh, one of my videos does come up. It's like the, which one is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's the seventh one from the top. Is that just because it's me and it's giving and it's showing my videos to myself? It's I've only got four hundred views on it, and the videos right below that has three hundred thousand views. And so. I don't know. Okay, whatever. See you tomorrow.